previously on 41 Adventure. We used the boat to reach our initial itinerary in Laos. We then got back on the saddle, but immediately had to face some issues with the police. We finally started to cycle and it was probably the hardest part of Laos. Do you remember Jojo? We cycled together during five months and we are now back together for a few days. Mekong! Wow, it's so big! It's what I was going to say. <laughs> so big and silent. Mm. Is it like the... Second time we, co we cross it? Third time, third. We're gonna cross it for a while, so get used to it. Yeah, yeah, get used uh, to seeing videos about the Mekong. But here it's really nice. And Jojo with the Mekong. <laughs> Best friends. BF, BFs forever. Yeah. As always, uh, we thought we would uh, leave the main road, and now we're on this uh, great path. It's really nice, but it started to rain. It's actually the first time we get wet. Yeah, in the main road, it never rains. Yeah, as soon as you leave the main road, you start having adventures. Know that. So kids always leave the main road. <laughs> oh, and we're like full of bananas everywhere. Look at that. And just around the corner, we bumped into some workers preparing the bananas to be shipped to China. Okay, 
bye bye. Chai lai lai. Chai chai lai lai. So they just remove the air from the plastic bag with a vacuum. Six three one adventure in the back country of Laos. Yeah, you know we decided to abandon that great tarmac road for this one, but it's great. It's really worth it. Right, river crossing. <laughs> this path along the Mekong is really nice. The, this river is really silent, but there's also so much water, it's super full. Feels like it's um, it's a part of the Mekong which is not um, touched by like tourism, and we feel so close from the nature. Uh, there are some people because there are some villages every three five kilometers, and of course there are some uh, plantations. So in the to summarize, it's really nice. As you can see, the, this part of the Mekong is really nice, but when it comes to uh, where we're gonna sleep, it's a bit more tricky because it's really steep and it goes straight to the river, so no flat uh, terrain. Uh, but we found this village and there's a monastery, um, but when we got there, uh, we realized it was empty. People uh, told us there were no monks, but um, they told us that we could stay here anyway. We met uh, three or four locals, just, there's just a path uh, going through the property of the monastery and people just walked, so we found a couple of people and they told us uh, no problem to sleep. So we hope it's going to be okay. Um, it's a really remote place, as you could see, uh, so hopefully no police will come.
Okay, so this is also interesting. <laughs> we have to cross with the boat just like five meters. As Jojo said, it's the it's probably the shortest boat trip ever. Or it could actually be the longest boat <laughs> trip ever. Yeah, because we don't have a motor. Yeah, and it's um, Maybe we have to pull a rope or something. No boats this time. Uh, we're gonna see if it's better to cross over there. Okay, so maybe it's easier to cross this way and Aurelie has found a place with lots of butterflies. Butterfly village, okay. Ah, no sticky rice. This is sticky rice. Ah, okay. We bought something. We don't know what it is. Inside it's like a. It looks like a paste. Ah, this one. Yeah. And then we got some of the, the, the same from yesterday. Okay, you have, you have same from yesterday? You like the bowls? We couldn't find anywhere to eat, uh, but there's this uh, woman selling many things on her motorcycle, and it's very famous here in Laos and also in Thailand, maybe in all Southeast Asia. Bye, Jojo. Bye, bye. Jojo is leaving. Bye, Jojo. Bye. Don't miss our next episode where we will show you our favorite part of Laos.